My name is Greg Arend with United Launch Alliance, and with Stratasys Additive Manufacturing Technologies, we've been able to print over 300 production tools that have made our launch vehicle production operations more efficient. United Launch Alliance is America's premier launch provider for launching satellites into orbit. We launch satellites for NASA, the U.S. Air Force, the National Reconnaissance Office, plus a number of commercial spacecraft providers as well. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. When we initially got our first Fortis 900 printer, we did a lot of prototyping and we made models and mock-ups and then evolved into more of a tooling usage where the factory production engineers and technicians are actually using the tools to build the rocket parts. We use additive manufacturing in the factory to make the production engineer's job a lot easier in a number of different ways. One is by making drill fixtures. There's a lot of areas where we need to drill a wide variety of holes, and it's very tough to define exactly where all those holes need to be, but if you make a large template that is 3D printed, it's easy to make that tool follow a complex geometry and precisely locate the holes where you need them. I'm a designer at United Launch Alliance, so I'm working to facilitate uh, better designs, more innovative designs uh, on the Vulcan launch vehicle. Recently, additive manufacturing has allowed us to redesign propulsion components. Taking the advantage of the open design box of additive manufacturing, we were able to come up with a part that was cheaper, lighter, and actually performed better than the original part. When we are determining if an additive manufactured part can be used on our launch vehicle, we need to make sure that it can withstand really harsh environments or whatever environment that that material may be used in. Stratasys has been invaluable to us from a material development process. They've provided us with new options that we didn't have before for part design and very unique circumstances. So things like ESD capabilities, conductivity in plastics, high aerothermal performance. Stratasys has been working hard to make sure that we have materials for future applications. With Stratasys additive manufacturing, we're seeing savings of about 90% reduction in the part cost for just the piece parts. In addition, we're seeing weight savings of about 10% and we're seeing drastic lead time reductions going from four to six months down to uh, four to six days. So we're seeing benefits on all fronts. I envision additive manufacturing providing our design engineers with a freedom that they have yet to have. What we're going to see is new innovative designs, new ways to use the technology, and really just, just a way to cut down the cost and have a better product. This is an exciting time to be in the aerospace industry. It's a time for innovators, and it's a time for energetic people with a vision to go run and, and capture that vision because the opportunity is there right now to do that.